Welcome to Electron Online. Here we're going to show you an example, a real-world example of what a dot product actually is, so we can get a better understanding for it. So here we have an object that's being pushed by a force, but notice the force is not acting horizontally against the object, and it's pushing the object horizontally across the horizontal plane a distance d. So now what we're trying to do is find the work done by the force, and it turns out the work done by the force is equal to the dot product between the force and the displacement represented by the vector d. So we can say that the work done, which is a scalar quantity, is equal to the force multiplied by the displacement or the distance traveled via the dot product. And of course we know that that is going to be equal to the magnitude of the force times the magnitude of the displacement times the cosine of the angle between them. And if we rewrite this as f times the cosine of theta multiplied times d, here what that then represents, it represents f times the cosine of theta is the projection of the force vector onto the displacement vector. So it's basically the length of this portion of the force vector, or that component of the force vector, and we multiply that distance, or that length, or that magnitude of, the, of that component of the force, we multiply that times the magnitude of the displacement, and we get the work done, the amount of work done by the force. Now you can see, of course, that if the force acts straight down this way, then the angle becomes 90 degrees, and if the angle becomes 90 degrees, the cosine of 90 is zero, then there's no work done because then you cannot have any displacement by the force. So now let's go ahead and do an example. Let's say the magnitude of the force is 100 newtons, the displacement or the distance traveled is 12 meters, let's say the angle between the two is 30 degrees, then the work done can be calculated as follows. The work is equal to the magnitude of the force, which is 100 newtons, times the magnitude of the displacement, which is 12 meters. So 12 times 100, that would be 1200 newton meters. And then we multiply that times the cosine of 30 degrees. So the work done is equal to 1200 newton meters multiplied times the cosine of 30 degrees. And it turns out the units of newton times meters is joules. That's the unit of energy or work. So work is equal to 1200 joules multiplied times the cosine of 30 degrees. And again, if you look at this portion right here, that would be the work done if the force was pushing the same direction of the displacement. Then the work done by the force would be equal to 1200 joules, but because it's acting at an angle with 30 degrees relative to the, the direction of the displacement, the work done is going to be a little bit less. And so we take the cosine of 30, uh, let's see here, 30, take the cosine, that's 0.866, multiply times 1200, and so that would be 1039 joules, rounded off to the nearest joule. And so there you can see, that's why we need dot products. There are real world examples, real world applications of the dot product, and this is just one of many just to get you a better feel for why we need dot products. That's how it's done.